Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Toronto TV. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily transfer big file size photos and videos from your iPhone to your Windows laptop computer. This is pretty much a very easy thing to do and I'm going to walk you through and how to do that. So let's jump into it. All right, so here we are. Well, basically the main purpose of this video tutorial is to show you or give you an application that you can use to transfer big file size videos from your iPhone to the laptop or from the laptop to the iPhone, vice versa. Okay, because back in the day, I used to transfer big file size videos from my iPhone to the laptop and it keeps on being interrupted or it won't even start or during the transfer process, it would just automatically cancel out okay and sometimes i get a little bit upset because you'll reach to a point where the download has reached 90 percent already and then it would just stop or it wouldn't continue at all so i did my research and the best application that we can do to transfer this big file size videos to the laptop or vice versa would be the simple transfer okay now i also want to tell you that i have used the data cable or Bluetooth connectivity or even share it app but all these things has failed to do so iPhone has also set the limit of 5 minute video or 4 gigabyte 4k video that you can transfer using a data cable otherwise if you do have video file size beyond that you wouldn't even be able to view the file when you go to the storage folder from your iPhone oh no okay so now first things first the one thing that you need to make sure is that your laptop and the iPhone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network router. Okay? Now my iPhone and my laptop is already connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's begin. Yippee! Alright, now we're gonna jump into the iPhone and download and install a simple transfer app. So we'll launch the App Store. All right, so we're gonna search for a simple transfer. And this is the file. All right, simple transfer photo plus video. All right, we're just gonna download and install. All right, there you go. It's downloaded and installed successfully. So we'll tap on open to launch the application. All right, now here, just tap on continue and tap on okay. All right, the simple transfer app on the iPhone is ready and it's just waiting for our computer. All right, so we're gonna jump on the laptop and download and install the simple transfer application here. Okay, so we're gonna launch the browser or Google Chrome or whichever browser that you have on your laptop and type in simple transfer on the Google address bar and this is the link simple transfer developed by Rambax all right so I'll click on it all right so this is the page and we're just gonna scroll down to the bottom and click on this download link right here okay now, if you do have a Windows laptop, obviously you'll have to click on the download button here. Else, if you do have a Macintosh or Apple computer, just click on the download button right here. Okay, now since I do have a Windows laptop, I'll click on this download link. Alright, now the download is in progress. And there you go. The download is completed. We're just going to click on it to start installing all right there you go so the simple transfer desktop version 1.3.0 has been successfully installed on the laptop and now it's automatically detecting the iPhone 8 plus that I'm using all right now if i'm going to click on this iphone 8 plus right here it's showing an ip address which is 192.168.15.7 
which is on the other method even if you didn't install the software on your laptop you can just go back to the browser and type in the IP address which is 192.168.15.7 and it's giving you the access for the contents of your iPhone however if you're going to download these files it will automatically convert it to a zip file so I wouldn't recommend it okay it's a faster way to access the contents of your iPhone however it will be on a zip file format okay but it's up to you you can do this way or you can do the other way which I've done so if you choose to install the simple transfer desktop version it's gonna give you this window and all you have to do is just to click on the phone itself all right now there you go it's going to be asking for a verification code which we will get from the iPhone itself okay so I'm gonna type in numbers 7953 and there you go these are now the contents of your iPhone so you'll have your albums that you have created all the folders that you have on the iPhone you'll be able to view it here okay to download the file that you want you just go into the folder so I'm gonna tap on videos and from here I'm going to mark the videos that I want to download by just clicking on the check marks okay and this one mark them and click on download all right so from here you can change the download folder by clicking on this button right here and create a new folder to where your videos should be downloaded to all right now I'm going to select this folder select folder and start downloading by clicking on this download button All right, there you go. So it successfully downloaded the two items that we have selected. All right, and to view the files, just click on the Show Files button. And there they are. The videos has been successfully downloaded. Okay, now you can delete these videos from your iPhone to save some storage. Okay. All right, so there you go. So the transfer from the iPhone to the laptop has been completed. All right. Now the next thing that we're going to do is to transfer a video from the laptop to the iPhone. Now here's the step. The first thing to do is to click on this upload button. Okay. Next, select the video file that you want to transfer to the iPhone. So I'll select this video or if you want to select multiple videos press and hold the control button and select the multiple videos that you want to transfer to the iPhone okay now I've selected two video files which is this one and this one okay now next is click on open all right now here if you click on this album you can save the video files into the folders or albums that you have on your iPhone. Okay, now I'm keeping recents and clicking on upload. And there you go. Two items uploaded successfully. Please check your device and make sure the files are saved to the Photos app before closing the application. Alright, so we're going to go to the photos and double check the video files. And there they are. This 
and this. So these are the files that we have taken from the laptop and transferred to the iPhone. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for the 600 subscribers as of now. I'm so happy with them. Much love to y'all. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button now and hit the notification bell so you can learn more videos like this. If you have any thoughts, just comment down below and let me know what you think. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.